Hello everyone, my name is Matt, and I <laughs> almost forgot it, it's been uh, a little while. Anyways, welcome to Super Monday Night Combat, or Super MNC. Uh, it's a new game I've been invited it's currently in beta, it's the sort of-ish sequel to the original Monday Night Combat. Who was like, kind of, TF2 with Dota elements, and uh, but now they changed it a little bit and it ha it's more like Dota basically. And uh, I'll go into more detail after we play a little game. We'll do a practice game first because I want to explain kind of the game to viewers or people who don't understand exactly how it goes. So we'll start a game of just me playing and I'll explain the details. So basically there's two team of heroes or champions or like whatever uh, you want to call them. And they, they basically fight. And uh, I will play, so you see there's a bunch of heroes. Uh, if you played the original Monday Night Combat, they're, they're, all these heroes come back. But there's also new ones. And I'm going to play as the monkey, because he's a monkey in a suit. And there's nothing else you need to know. His name is Cheston. I hear that his name is like a reference to uh, Planet okay, of the Apes. The have finally finished reloading our turrets, and we're ready to start. Oh, pit girl. Okay. Hello. And so, okay. Uh, it's standard third person shooter control so far. You know, space to jump and you aim and stuff. And uh, so, yeah, I have a gun. And as you see, if I aim, geez, the aiming just gets worse and worse. So there's towers uh, which cannot be harmed by the enemy team unless the bots actually do. Bots which are robots that spawn at regular intervals and your way, uh, your job is to escort them to the enemy's money ball which is kind of like the ancient for you Dota fans out there. Uh, by the way if you're wondering is some Dota coming up after this? Are you like in the beta or something? Yes and I will. But for now Monday Night Combat. Choo 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 choo. So yeah, you have to fight basically the bots. Now there's no other heroes in the game because I'm alone, but usually there are. So I'm going to explain a little bit the controls. So you, because uh, when I started the game, I was a little bit lost and I was like not enjoying the game enough because it's a little bit complicated, all these buttons to remember. So you have a main weapon, which sometimes have an alternate fire. This one shoots a banana. It's really fun. And uh, you have a melee weapon. I don't know why... He's got a scepter, maybe because he's a king. The king of the Kongs. I guess this guy's just a reference to everything that's the monkey. And the alternate fire for your secondary weapon, which is not always melee, is a grab. Which is really useful because it immobil immobilizes the enemy. And uh, But also you, so you have to be careful. But you still do damage to your enemy. So it can be really good to get some kills. Unfortunately, you have to, you know, get in melee range. And so, yeah, I'm just gonna get a little bit of money here. Of course, you have three skills, which I will explain. Skills, skills. Also, if you have your melee uh, weapon out and you press the reload button, which is R, you know, because if you you will uh, you'll be able to kind of do this kind of dash that can be really useful sometimes. Okay, so B to buy your skills. You have three skills for each heroes. Well, five. Uh, the three are unique, and these two are basically. Uh, just like upgrade defense or upgrade offense, which you know is always useful depending the hero. And also defense, it's good to note that it also increases your speed. So I'm gonna get a little bit of that barrel because when it's really upgraded, it's really good. And I guess that roar is also really fun. Okay. And uh, by the way, you start with all your skills. Uh, it's just that you upgrade them with levels. So this first for him is uh, he throws a little barrel. Kind of reminds me of Donkey Kong. <laughs> Again, throws a flaming barrel. And uh, it's 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 control to to do this this move. Of course, there's a cooldown, but um, uh, the the con th oh level up again. Uh, the the control attack is often always your primary skill. It's often offensive. And see, this is the the tower. You have to be really careful because this will damage you a lot. And so my second skill, which you can activate with Q, is some kind of roar, which gives me some speed and heals me. Uh, really useful for this guy. He's kind of tanky. He's, uh, I don't know. There's some classes. 
Oh yeah, I love the announcer in this game, by the way. Totally steals the show. Ah, just gonna back up a little bit. Then uh, my third third move, which I guess I'll get a level of just to show the full potential of it, is uh well with the E button. So it's basically the two button next to your last are your like two your second and third spell, and the first one is control. So let's let's go do some. The, the third skill, which for him is a rampage. You just go like, I'm a monkey. But, uh, yeah, it's... You have to be careful of the towers. <laughs> because they will kill you. And so that's a little mini-map when you're dead. Really useful. You see the bots and all. It's fun. By the way, you can come back here. If, um... If you've been damaged. It's always cool. Uh, it, it will heal you, and you can also you can also buy with the F button. You can spawn bots if you buy stuff here. You can also buy uh, these things, which are jump pads, allow you to uh, gain other, well, go to other places in the map, get a vantage point. And what's good to know is that once they're bought, they're bought for the entire game, except stuff like uh, I guess I, I guess I should show you like here. If you stand on this, this thing can release. Some kind of explosion. Oh, that. Speaking of that, there's the annihilator that's going to be activated soon. It's going to grab this later. It's going to get rid of those little bots here. Okay. Oh yeah, that's bullseye. It's the mascot. One of three neutrals that can spawn in the middle. Get that gives uh, major bonuses. But uh, it's, what's good to know is there's also a bunch of a uh, neutral. Uh, monsters that are down there, uh, kind of like the jungle, um, for no neutral creeps. And so here, if you're here, you can activate kind of those things, which, like, if I do, BAM! Just exploded the bots. And it's also good to know that it will throw people away, like it will make them fly away, so it's really good to get some kills if uh, there's holes around these buttons. On some maps there are, and it's really fun. And so, yeah, you can see the enemy space. These are the, whoa, last towers, and that's the money ball. This little blue, glowy thing. And I'm Cheston, and I'm a monkey. This <laughs> make me happy. I'm a huge monkey. Oh, my God, I'm getting shot. Don't shoot my monkey. Okay. And there's also some... Gra I, I, I can't really show the grabs, because I don't know exactly what bots I can grab or not. And it's, it's really weird. Some bots you can't grab, some bots you can... Uh, usually, the, the, the I think there's just like the one that cr can grab you, you can grab, and the other giant big one that's not gonna spawn yet. Anyways, um, and I guess that's pretty much it for the demo and the control. I guess there's, uh, yeah. Oh, monkey barrel. <laughs> Once you know that, you're pretty much set to play the game. It's, uh, it's really a different deal when... Oh, yeah, that's what you say, but I'm the one commenting right now, you commentator guy. Anyways, so I guess I'll just go show you the actual game, an actual game. That's what we're going to do right 